The HTC One, One and just HTC One, is powered by a new software Sense 5 on top of Android Jelly Bean. Uh, this is the lock screen, so if I go in there, first thing I will see is the new home screen that is called the Blink Feed, because at a blink of an eye, you'll get updated with all your latest sources of information, either your social media or some, some articles that you want to read, uh, and those articles are there with the full text, so you don't need to end up in the web browser like some of the apps uh, do. You get all the stuff directly in there. Um, I can customize this to my needs. So let's say I want to have my Facebook in there. I can switch it on. Then I will see little tiles that display latest Facebook status updates from my friends. I can switch on and off some of the news contents. Let's say, OK, I'm just interested in football. Then, of course, 11 Freunde, UEFA, and stuff like this will be on, or one of the techie sites. Or I can go a bit deeper and um, provide filters on what's interesting to me. So, okay, I just want to know about fashion, of course, and celebrity highlights. Then this would be here, or I switch on computer games, and then all the news of computer games will end up in the home screen. Um, the method is anything that comes in new will come in on top, just like on a blog site. So the newest updates will always be here. And if I go down deeper, I will see updates that happened earlier this day and the home button will bring you back to the top where, of course, there's an HTC weather widget, weather, weather and clock. Um, but also here, the look is uh, much more reduced. It is, it is flat, it is very modern, it is very, very nice and graphic. Um, from here, I can go to the new designed app drawer. This is not just an app launcher. It always works like a home screen. So I can shuffle, shuffle around the icons there I can uh, hide some, I can turn them into folders, just as I normally would do uh, on home screen. Got it? Or take something and put it here. If I move it from here to here, it is removed from the app drawer, so it's just really one set of icons. And this will be bring me back to this uh, Blink Feed view of my home screen. Uh, and of course, if, if I like to have, uh, let's say, old school widgets, uh, classic Android widgets, I can scroll right or left to other home screens. I can add more. We'll ship it out of the box with one additional home screen uh, to the Blink feed, but then I can um, add as much as I like and um, um, fill them up with, uh, with classic uh, Android widgets. As you can see, even, even other bits of the, of the phone are designed much more in a, uh, a holo-like fashion. So let me just find the calendar the calendar optics, the way I navigate through it is all following the same, uh, the same patterns. I scroll left and right for different filters, uh, and the look is also uh, much more consistent with other Android apps. Double tapping on the home screen will, on the home button will bring me to this uh, multitasking view where I can see a nice overview of all the apps running, and if I don't need them, just push them out of the screen. So which in a nutshell is Sense5 featuring the Blink Feed. Yeah.